So there's 28 people uh, signing in. So make sure there should be more than 28 guys. Physiology is the study of how the body function. Why anatomy is the study of foam of the body, okay? So that is the definition. So moving on. Uh, physiology is the study of the function, right? For us to know the function, how's uh, the body work, we need to have the background knowledge in bio, chemistry, and genetic, right? And you guys took bio, you guys took chem, right? So now your job is to put it together to learn about physiology. Okay, once you're done watching the video, don't forget to respond. Why do we get hiccups? We get hiccup when a diaphragm spasm, when it normally contracts smoothly when we breathe. Eating too quickly, drinking too quickly, crying or being scared. It's kind of like in the contract shape. So then your body has to try to do things to push it involuntarily, right? Like to push it back to the normal shape. And that's where the hiccup come from. Make sense? And that is how you get hiccup. And it's just a good explanation of how uh, uh, anatomy is connected to physiology. For you to understand how things work, you need to know the anatomy. And that's the goal I'm trying to show, okay? Again, so make sure you reply to this. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna move on to the next slide. Um, when we speak about anatomy, right, you guys did from, got from your reading, um, there are different types of anatomy. There are two types. First is what we call gross anatomy. Gross is not gross like, ew, you know, that's nasty and stuff, no. In this case, gross means macroscopic. That means large, things that you can see, all right? For example, uh, surface anatomy is a type of gross anatomy, like your skin. Your skin is anatomy, right? You can see it. Regional anatomy or body area. You learn anatomy by dividing your body area to different sections, different regions. We'll talk more about that later. Systemic has to do with organ. And developmental anatomy from, you know, when you were young, right? Uh, when you were young, your body structure is certain shape. When you're older, it's different shape. For example, when, when a baby is just born, their uh, skull is not, uh, has not fused together yet because their brain is still growing. So it's a certain shape, but as they get older, it fuses together and they change shape or anatomy in this case. And then clinical anatomy has to do with medical specialty and stuff. Uh, Besides growth, you, we're also gonna be attacking what we call microscopic anatomy. Microscopic, like what the word is, microscope, tiny, small thing that you need to use the microscope to look at. In this case, it has to do with cells and tissue, right? Um, we will, when we return back to um, uh, school, we'll be using microscope to look at microscopic anatomy. We'll be looking at tissue and cells of uh, different anatomy. For example, muscle tissue, for example, blood tissue or blood cells, right? Nerve tissue or nerve cell, we'll be looking at them. And that is the two types of anatomy. And then physiology, on the other hand, is the function, how things work. We will be focusing on cell physiology, how cells work together to form tissue. We'll be looking at organ physiology, how different organs work together to form organ system. Uh, and then systemic physiology, how different system in your body function to create the organism, the person. And then also pathological physiology has to do with diseases that affect the function in your body. For example, if you have a flu or a cold, of course that's gonna change the physiology of your body, right? Your body will heat up, or your body will go cold, or you know, you'll be sweating more. So uh, pathogen can affect the function. We know that, right? Especially from COVID-19. Okay. Make sure you reply. Atom, molecule, macromolecule, tissue, organ, organism, population. Well, how are we organized as an organism? Well, we have level of organization, right? And we're gonna start out from the smallest to the biggest, right? The smallest thing that we can consider in our, in our body is the chemical level or what we call molecular level. These are atoms, you know, how different elements and atom bond together to create like a macromolecule and so on and then carbohydrate, protein, these are molecular level. 
And when you have protein, carbohydrate, you have uh, um, what else? Fat lipids. Remember those things? They are then work together to create a cell, and that's the cellular level, right? You can see in this picture. And then you have different cells, different groups of cells. When those group of cells, they when they do the same thing, they tend to combine together to give you tissue. And that is the tissue level. So we're going from the smallest to the biggest. And when you have different tissue that kind of share the same job, they will form what we call an organ, right? And we know organ, right? We know we have multiple organs in our body, for example, our brain or skin, right? Our heart, our lungs or intestine, right? Those are organs. And when we have different organs, like our lungs and our hearts and our blood vessel, when they combine together, we, they create what we call an organ system, right? Organ system. And when you have multiple organ system like respiratory, cardiovascular, nervous system, endocrine system, combine, you get what we call an organism. And an organism is a living thing. And in this case, we're gonna focus on the human, right? So what? restate the level organization that we know of that i just talked about right so let's see we have molecular right the smallest thing the atom part or chemical right and then cell and then tissue and then become an organ organ system and then an organism so go ahead there's six more people reply so we can move on okay <clears throat> So uh, in physiology and anatomy, we will focus all the different levels, right? We will focus the molecular or the chemical size. We're also gonna look at the cells that make up that organ. We're gonna take a look at the tissue and then the organs itself and then an organ system as a whole to see how they function. All right, so two more people need to reply, okay. Again, guys, when you reply to the Paradox, don't worry that you get it wrong. Because nobody's going to see your name. Only me when I uh, convert it to a spreadsheet. The only wrong answer is when you don't reply. So make sure you reply. Get your participation point so I can clear up your attendance to prove that you did participate and so on. Okay. All right. Um, we know the organ system. Uh, you have different organ system in your body and when they combine they create an organism you me right and that's where we are going to end with uh, I'm gonna skip really high this okay um, so what organ system are we looking at there are multiple of them right and we're gonna take a look at them throughout the year we have the integumentary we have to do with skin you have the skeletal system you have to do with the muscular system, the nervous system, endocrine system, cardiovascular system, lymphatic system, respiratory system. And they are a total of 11, including the male and the female reproductive system. And there are 11 of them. Okay. So the last question I need you guys to answer in this response is, which organ system is your favorite? So by the way, later on when you go back and reread the note, I hope you get a chance to kind of look at the organ system so you understand a little bit better. But we will go more about those organ systems. So in the response, tell me which organ system are you interested in and why? Okay. All right, let me see. Which organ system are you, is your favorite? I think every organ system is important, but my favorite is I like all of them because each system are, uh, come on, pick one, pick one, be decisive. Hair is my favorite. Uh, hair is actually part of an organ system. What is the name of that organ system that include hair, right? <clears throat> What's the name of that system that include the hair? The brain, because it functions differently. Uh, what organ system include the brain, right? The brain is just an organ within the system. What do you call the system? Skeletal, cardiovascular, digestive, right? Tell me why, right? Why? Why uh, is that your favorite? Your favorite digest system? I like to know food being breakdown. Okay, that's the reason. There you go. Lymphatic system because it helps us get rid of disease. You're right. Lymphatic system have lymph node 
that help to kind of clean your blood from all these uh, pathogen respiratory okay so again make sure you respond i'll give you a minute okay i'm surprised nobody picked reproductive system no nobody interested in the reproductive system that you guy teenager and that's like in your most people oh reproductive system here ah because i'm a female i like to learn more about reproducing when i'm older i want to have kids and it's beneficial to learn about how our body work function right Good. Okay, we do have. Um, hopefully, uh, everything is good with this year. Last year, we didn't get a chance because we didn't. We technically missed toward the end of spring, but hopefully, this year we do have a chance to go over reproductive system as well. Okay. Again, make sure you answer these questions. All right. Um, just make sure you put something in there, guys. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna skip. Okay. Uh, at the end, make sure you write a summary at the end. When you annotate the note all right um that's it um let's go to the next class so we're not late uh don't forget to work on your presentation uh can we leave yes dahlia we can leave so i will see you guys on monday all right bye bye guys